middleweight matchup of newcomers, both with great jiu-jitsu skills. Canadian Joe Dirksen against the Diesel, whose hands are lethal. His name is Joe Riggs. Joe Diesel Riggs brings in a reputation as one of the hardest hitters in the middleweight division. A former heavyweight, Riggs is now lean and mean as a middleweight and feels he has not lost any of his punching power. He hopes to add to his knockout tally tonight. I see uh, this fight unfolding as Joe Dorsen comes to press the fight, comes in to punch a couple times a clinch, and he just gets caught with the right hand. Down he goes. Fight's over. Put a pillow down so he goes to sleep for him. Veteran Canadian fighter Joe Dorkson has competed in over 30 mixed martial arts fights and is on a 10-fight win streak. Although he has won most of his fights by submission, Dorkson is very well-rounded and has won by strikes as well. The only thing I think I have that he doesn't is that the, the fighters that I've fought were of a higher caliber than many of the ones he's fought. Um, other than that, we have really the same number of fights. And on paper, everything looks you know, pretty even. Um, I'm just hoping that my experience is gonna you know, help me through the fight and, and hopefully get me the win. But either way, you know, I think it's gonna be a really entertaining fight and the crowd's gonna just, they're gonna have a ball. Up next, Joe Diesel Riggs takes on Joe Dorkson. The Canadian is 26. Riggs, as I mentioned earlier, is just 21 years old. Our tale of the tape brought to you by Nature's Purest Nutritional Supplements. Well, Dirksen has evolved out of just a pure Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. He's boxed the last three years. He's on a 10-win fight streak. And his opponent, Joe Riggs, knocked out his last five fighters. As you see, Steve Mazzagotti is our referee. One streak will end here tonight. Either the knockout streak or the win streak. Sizing each other up early. This kick by Dirksen went a little high. Dirksen Riggs just shakes it off. In the red trunks, Riggs in the black trunks. They touch hands and look to engage. Dirksen shoots him for a single. Nice takedown. Middleweight. Good tuck. Very nice. Very nice by Dirksen. Good job of getting him to the ground without taking any danger with those fists. Dirksen in the closed guard of Joe Riggs from Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, interesting choice. Joe Dirksen might have made a mistake there. It looked like he went to slam him, and in the process, he gave Riggs the opportunity to stand back up. But nice takedown again. Joe Dirksen, very impressive. Oh, a reversal by Riggs. This is a bad spot for Dirksen. He's got to control Riggs' upper body. He's got to hold on to his head, hold on to his arms, tie him up, keep him from raining down with those big, heavy punches. Riggs has had a lot of success in the smaller shows around the nation. Dirk time Desert Quest champion amongst other titles. Dirksen's locking a hold of uh, Riggs' right arm, and he's getting his legs up high. This is the very good position for Dirksen right here. He's clearing the head, and he's going to look to either get an omoplot to shoulder lock. Oh, he lost the arm. He lost the arm, now he's just going to keep him away. Oh, oh, raining down a big right is Joe Riggs. I don't think that made impact, though. I think that was blocked. Trying to follow up with the forearm. This is what I was talking about before. If Dirksen's got him on the ground and Riggs is on top of him. He's got to do something to secure Riggs' upper body to keep him from raining down with these big shots. Riggs There's trying to explode upon his opponent. Dirksen's back on his feet. Don't forget, UFC DVDs distributed by Studio Works Entertainment now at Blockbuster, Ultimate Knockouts 1 and 2. UFCs 43, 44, 45, and 46. 47 comes out into the month, 48 in October. And look around Christmas time for UFC 49 and Ultimate Knockout 3. UFC DVDs now available. Nice takedown by Joe Riggs. He had secured double underhooks, took Dirksen down. Dirksen looks like he's got a pretty good guard here. But again, he's got to hold him down. There he goes. He's got to keep Riggs from raining down those big shots. Now you can see that Joe Riggs is an extremely strong man and still looks huge at 185. A man who, as you mentioned, Joe, once fought at 300 pounds. It's hard to believe looking at his body. He doesn't look like a guy who used to be 300 pounds. He's not all stretched out. Nice. 
Nice half guard double underhook sweep by Joe Dirksen. Lining up on top. If he can get his head out, he might be able to secure the mount here. He's got his head out. Now he's got to try to pull Riggs away from the fence. Suck him away from the fence. No, Riggs. Good job by Riggs in getting back to his feet. Dirksen's got a hold of a leg, drops to the ground, tries to roll over in a sweep. Now he's on his back, butterfly guard with double underhooks. This is actually a good position for Dirksen. He might be able to sweep from here. Dirksen feeling very much like Riggs, that this is a landmark in his career to have a chance to fight in the UFC. This, oh. posi this position is actually very dangerous to Joe Riggs. He can get swept here. Whenever a guy's got double underhooks, See, there he goes, he reigns up. Whenever a guy's got double underhooks, he's basically controlling your body. Nice kick from the ground. I guess that is a rule violation. Joe Riggs is trying to stomp, and I guess you can't stomp the down fighter. You can only kick to the legs. A kick to a downed opponent in the body and not the head is okay. The stop oh. is what Mazzagatti warned him about. So you can kick, but you can't stop. Correct. Interesting. So Mazzagatti stepped in just, just a moment, but still impressive here in round one. Joe Dirksen's doing a really good job of avoiding damage in these exchanges. And a good job of tying Joe Riggs up when he gets him to the ground. But now as the fight goes on, now these guys are getting slippery. Now they're sweating profusely, and it's going to be much harder for Joe Dirksen to secure a submission. It's going to be harder to hold him down. Well, the Canadian had his hands full in the first round. Riggs looking very impressive to Diesel in his UFC debut. Here we go, round two. Give round one to Joe Riggs. Oh, that just sounded like right on the cup. Again. That sounded like a balloon time. popping. Wow. We saw that earlier in the Eilers fight, too. Ouch. The Justin Eilers, Mike Kyle. That's fight. two in a row. I don't, I don't think they're intentional, but that's just something that happens when you go for inside leg kicks. Inside leg kicks, meaning a kick that lands to the inside of the thigh. You know, uh, when you're throwing a strike, it's very difficult to gauge distance. When guys move in, when they move back, when you're throwing a punch or a kick as they're doing it, people clash. Let's take a look at it. It's not intentional. I'm sure he just meant to kick the thigh, but here it is. Bang! On the butt. Just right in there. And you see Joe Jerks' reaction. He apologizes immediately. And he's not known as a dirty fighter. And in this situation, Joe Riggs has as much time as he needs to regain his composure. The first one that Joe Riggs caught, he just shook it off immediately. And this one he laughed at. Yeah, he's saying, please don't do that again. <laughs> oh, big right hand. Good combination. Excuse me, left hand. Dirk's in again in the red. Riggs in the black trunks. Riggs had good control in round one. Good job by Dirks in getting double underhooks. And good, excuse me, by uh, Riggs of getting double underhooks. I'm getting him confused now. <laughs> I should have never brought up the one Joe must go, Joe. There's too many Joes in this table. There's Riggs on top. Good job by Dirks for covering up. Bam. Speaking of releases, how about the UFC soundtrack? Ultimate Beatdowns Volume 1 Metal, featuring tracks from Metal Powerhouse of Slayer, Hate, Greed, and Damage Plan. Chuck Liddell also hooks up with some of the metal artists that are now on the UFC soundtrack. Look for it in stores for all your information on UFC merchandise and the fighters. Always check it out at UFC.tv. Mike Goldberg, Joe Rogan, glad to be with you tonight. Sold out UFC 49, unfinished business, MGM Grand Garden Arena. So exciting, we haven't talked about it. Still ahead. For the light heavyweight championship, Randy Couture and Vitor Belfort. Missing some nice sweep attempts here by Joe Dirksen. He's got, he was using inside butterflies to try to move uh, and manipulate Joe Riggs around. But Joe Riggs, his credit, has avoided all of them. And he's still da very dangerous here. When he gets a chance to rise up, you see how he faked him, he like looked away and then threw a right hand. He's a little frustrated here. He hasn't been able to do any damage to Joe Dirksen inside his guard. That's a credit to Dirksen. Very good defense. Oh, 
Joe Jackson's legs are up high. He's trying to control Joe Riggs' body. And either secure a submission or at the very least, try to avoid this. This is when he's dangerous. Oh, Joe Riggs looking for a triangle. Excuse me, Joe Dirksen looking for a triangle. That's like he did it again. There's a good shot by Riggs up top. Good elbow inside by Riggs. They've got to stay busy on the ground or Miles Agati will stand them up. That defines busy right there. I hear from Dirksen's corner, they keep saying, looking for the triangle, look for the triangle. And as you said a moment ago, he tried to apply it once. Riggs, a big, powerful man. And you hear Riggs' corner asking him to please stand up. Riggs got side control. Bad spot for Dirksen. Big shot. Riggs is big elbow. Big down shots now. Excellent composure by Joe Dirksen under fire. He took some big shots by Joe Riggs there. The diesel oh. with the big four. Another one. And big that one. cut him. Now that cut him over. That opened up the right eye of his opponent. And Riggs is trying to finish it. That was a huge shot. That's a big cut right there. Steve Mazzagatti might have to stop this and have the doctor look at it. Big That's cut. That's a nasty blow oh pouring out of goodness. Joe Dirksen's face here. That was the right elbow, and he continues to out. out. It's all over. It's all over. Dirksen has tapped out, and Joe Riggs reigns victorious. Wow. Very impressive. Immediately, Dirksen receives medical attention. What was that? opened him up right in front of our vantage point. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Steve Mazzagatti has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes 39 seconds of the second round. For the winner by tap out, Joe 